constantly told that I oversimplify this discussion of origin of the cosmos, that I somehow um, either make it that in the beginning God created from nothing the heavens and the earth, or looking at the mainstream scientific view that in the beginning all space, time, matter, energy uh, came into being all of a sudden for no apparent reason. And my basic argument is that they're identical but for the word God. And I continually get emails that I just don't understand uh, what mainstream science is truly saying because I'm not a scientist. And uh, because I don't use words like singularity or vacuum fluctuation that I somehow don't get it. So let me just take a step back and, and first of all just argue that I don't think I'm oversimplifying. I mean obviously the cosmos is everything that we see in the physical universe, right? Uh, cosmology is the study of this observable universe, um, how things move, the, the natural uh, properties and the physical laws, etc. And then finally, a cosmogony is a theory of the origin of cosmos. And so I don't need to be a scientist to discuss my theory for the origin of cosmos because that really doesn't have much to do with science because I cannot reproduce that singular event in a laboratory. There's three cosmogenies, three theories for the origin of cosmos. One is it's just always been here. All space, time, matter, and energy has just always been here acting on each other and thus brought forth all of the solar systems, stars, planets, etc. Two, it came into existence all of a sudden by some kind of an accidental explosion or expansion to be more technical. And third, it came about by some supernatural event. God brought it into existence. There are no other cosmogenies that I can come up with, and I would uh, ask if anybody can come up with another cosmogony or theory of the origins of the universe, please send them along. In the last hundred years, the first one has been taken off the table. This notion that all space, time, matter, and energy has just been here forever, infinitely. Uh, that has been taken off the table. Uh, since Einstein and then all the observational evidence starting with Hubble's telescope looking at the expansion of the universe, we now all agree, uh, theologians, philosophers, and scientists alike, that the cosmos did indeed have a beginning. Okay, so back to my oversimplification, that either in the beginning all space, time, matter, energy came into existence all of a sudden for no apparent reason when this singularity, this cosmic blip, all of a sudden decided to start expanding uh, for no real apparent reason. Um, or in the beginning, all space, time, matter, and energy was brought into existence by God, Genesis 1.1. Um, I went on the internet and I checked out the mainstream scientific sources to see if I was oversimplifying. And I printed some of these out and I just wanted to read them to you because indeed, when it comes to cosmogony or a theory of the origin of the universe, I do not think I'm oversimplifying. Here's what NASA says on its website. The universe was created sometime between 10 billion and 20 billion years ago from a cosmic explosion that hurled matter in all directions. Two, UC Berkeley says, the Big Bang Theory states that at some time in the distant past, there was nothing. A process known as vacuum fluctuation created what astrophysicists call a singularity. From that singularity, which was about the size of a dime, our universe was born. Am I oversimplifying? The Jet Propulsion Laboratory at California Institute of Technology says, many cosmologists believe that the universe was created about 15 billion years ago with a cosmic explosion they nicknamed the Big Bang. This explosion produced an expanding cloud of the simplest known chemical elements, hydrogen and helium. University of Michigan says, about 15 billion years ago, a tremendous explosion started the expansion of the universe. This explosion is known as the Big Bang. At the point of this event, all of the matter and energy of space was contained at one point. What existed prior to this event is completely unknown and a matter of pure speculation. This occurrence was not a conventional explosion, but rather an event filling all of space with all of the particles of the embryonic universe rushing away from each other. And finally, the American Association for the Advancement of Science declares, in the last 50 years, a great deal of evidence has accumulated in support of a consensus theory of the evolution of the universe. The theory holds that a Big Bang precipitated a huge split-second inflation of the universe, followed by a gradual expansion that continues to this day. Now, am I oversimplifying? I do not think so. These are the mainstream 
scientific locations on the internet. These are their definitions. And it is simple as in the beginning, all space, time, matter, and energy came into existence from a singularity and started expanding and became everything that we see. I am not oversimplifying. Genesis 1.1 says, in the beginning, God created from nothing the heavens and the earth. Those are your two cosmogenies, God or no God. Singularity, N with a capital uh, nature, <laughs> nature with a capital N, or God. It's your call. It's a faith statement. It's a conjecture. It's a philosophical gap filler for both sides. Did God do it or did it do itself?